peachtools.com. G'day guys, Pe Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Hey, a couple of you guys have contacted me and asked me how the hell do you check these welding helmets? You've had one lying around for a while and you don't have the bloody things working or not. And I've actually done it myself where you sort of got a little bit of welding flash. I don't know if you guys have ever had welding flash, but it's really, really horrible. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. So today, guys, I'm going to give you a little tip how to check your old welding helmet without actually having to look at the arc. Because you don't want to be looking at the arc if your old helmet isn't working properly. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. Just so say, here you go, I'm Pete, you old git. And uh, let's get into it, eh? Yeah. So guys, before I show you my tip, if you're new to welding, never weld without a helmet on and never weld with just goggles. I mean, I was a bugger for that. When I first started welding, I was just using these goggles. And I was using them for the simple reason that they fit over my glasses like that. They're really, really cool. They're easy to see through. And I thought, yeah, this is it. I'm into it. And then I did like four or five hours of MIG welding. And then I got um, a whole lot of skin burn around here and all the rest of it. And you know why? My eyes were all right. But the rest of my face, even with these big whiskers out here, it just started to burn like I've been out in the sun all day. So guys, don't arc weld or MIG weld or flux core weld just with these glasses on. Unless you've got some hood that goes over the top and you've just got your glasses like that and you've got your head covered. Otherwise it just sucks guys. Anyway, that's a trick for young players. I learned that the hard way. And these glasses here guys, they've got the auto shade from 3 to 11. So it's supposed to auto adjust depending on what sort of light you've got coming off your welding if you understand what I'm saying. But if you're mid welding, I would use a shade from 10 to 13 because the light that you're getting in the RF light is quite bright. But if you're arc welding, I would use an even heavier shade, depending how many amps you're welding with, of course. The more amps, the brighter the light, and the brighter the light, the heavier the shade. So for arc welding, for example, I would use like from shade 10 to 14, just depending on the thickness of your electrodes and how much power signaling you've got, obviously. And also, guys, I don't know if you know it or not, that between normal MIG and flux core, flux core is a lot brighter as well compared to normal MIG welding with gas, depending on your power signals, of course, but in general. So you're going to need a heavier shade for that as well. Anyway guys, like I promised you, I'll show you how to check your helmet without actually looking into the uh, RF and making yourself blind. yee -ha! So what you need guys, what you need is one of these. And these are really high tech things, just your TV remote control or video remote control or whatever remote control you've got. You need a remote control and you need your welding helmet. And you're going to say, what the bloody hell are you doing with that Pete? Aha! Let me show you guys. yee -ha! Well, the best way for DIY testing, guys, see if your lens and your sensors are operating the way they should be, is use your TV remote. The IR from the TV remote will trigger the sensors, and it can tell you whether the thing is working properly or not. Most of them use IR to uh, determine whether you started to weld or not. And what this will do, guys, is it will tell you whether your helmet's working from the side or from the bottom and from above. So when you point your remote towards your helmet, it will tell you whether you're actually working or not. And that would be a good thing, not to go blind, eh? <laughs> Alright guys, there's me looking through the back of my helmet. Here's my remote. Flick any button on the remote, see what happens. It's causing it to go dark. It's picking it up in the sensor if we go up. To the left, to the right. We go down a bit guys, see that? On, off on off and all I'm doing is pushing the button on the remote here but I have to point it towards my helmet of course see I'm just pushing the button beautiful there you go and you also find guys that if you stick your helmet outside in the sun and let it recharge for a little bit this will even be quicker that's what I found with my old helmet anyway see that guys simple remote control button push yeah, grandma. So guys, that's a little simple trick. Use your remote, point it towards your helmet. Ba bing If it goes, it's working. If it doesn't go, chuck it away and get a new one. Anyway, guys, if you happen to be caught out and got welding flash and you need some quick remedies, I've got some home remedies here. I'll show you my best three home remedies. But for God's sake, just wear a helmet rather than having to try and fix your eyes after the event.
guys, that's some more useless information for you. That, like, you really needed to know that, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time, eh? And I hope you enjoyed those little tips that I did for how to get rid of the old archive. But, I mean, once you've got it, it's too friggin' late, isn't it? Anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.com.com.